CBS's The Young and the Restless Spoilers for Saturday, May 4th. Devin Hamilton's frustration had reached its peak upon the realization that Nate Hastings was not the loyal ally he had once believed him to be. The revelation came with a bitter sting, especially considering how Nate had chosen a side of chance chancellors over him, effectively leaving Den- Den- Devin in the shadows. This betrayal not only shocked Devin, but also altered the course of their relationship permanently. Devin, feeling betrayed and abandoned, had decided that he would no longer protect or support Nate, and the bond they shared was irreparably damaged, and a new rivalry was born from the ashes of their fractured alliance. As Devin grappled with his feelings of betrayal, he came to recognize the wisdom in Lily, Winters, and Billy Abbott's earlier reservations about Nate. They had sensed Nate's duplicity before Devin had, and now Devin felt compelled to align with them. This alliance was not just about mutual interest in business, but also about a shared understanding of Nate's character. The decision to no longer shield Nate was a significant one, and Devin knew that it would have serious repercussions, especially from the tight-knit business community of Chancellor Winters. It was only a matter of time before Nate would face the consequences of his actions, likely leading to his dismissal from Chancellor Winters. In the end, Devin was left to navigate these turbulent waters, armed with a new perspective on trust and loyalty within both its personal and professional circles. The fallout from this betrayal was sure to reshape the relationships and strategies moving forward, as Devin aimed to protect his interests and those of his true allies. After making a daring escape from incarceration, Jordan wanted and wasted no time in reaching out to Claire, but not for a reunion, it was a threat. Jordan's message was chilling. If Claire didn't sever ties with the Newman family and return to her, the Newman family would continue to live in unrest and face impending danger. The implications of Jordan's return and the direct threat aimed at one of Genoa's most powerful families sent ripples of concerns throughout the community. Claire, overwhelmed by guilt and the burden of being the catalyst for potential harm in the Newmans, considered their grave implications of her next actions. The thought that her departure could put an end to the torment was both a relief and heartache, and she had grown to admire and care for the Newmans, who had welcomed her and threatened her like a family. Leaving them would be abandoning the life and the bonds she had built in Genoa. However, Jordan's intentions were clear. She didn't care for Claire's well-being or her desires. Her actions were manipulative, aimed solely at bending Claire to her will. The pressure was immense, leaving Claire at her crossroads about whether to comply with Jordan's demands or stand her ground and protect her new family. Faced with an impossible decision, Claire pondered the true cost of her choices. And leaving might guarantee the Newman's safety, but it would also mean succumbing to Jordan's control and potentially facing more dangers away from the protection of the Newman offered. The dilemma weighed heavily on her, prompting a deep internal struggle between her safety and her loyalty to those she now considered family. As Claire grappled with these difficult thoughts, she knew she couldn't make this decision alone. Consulting with the Newmans, especially seeking advice from the likes of Victor and Nikki Newman, whom she's seen their fair share of threats and adversaries, seemed the next logical step. Their insight would be invaluable in helping her navigate the treacherous situation.